Which one are you? Gretchen, Nurse Taylor, Dr. Oliver. So you're the idiot who paged me because this patient is in pain, and yet when I come up here to check him out, he's not in pain, he's sleeping. But he said he... Yeah, whatever he said at the time, it's clearly not the case now. Make sure of your facts before you page me. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to be your coach. What am I in training for? The chief of staff position, remember? You asked me to help you with your people skills? Yeah, right. Uh, I decided I don't need that. Oh, really? Really? Because you just made that nurse cry. Oh, she'll get over it. Yeah, I, I, I get along really well with people. With what people? I want names. I used to run my own clinic. I work with surgical teams all the time. As long as the patient gets better, that's all that matters. Oliver, you forgot to copy me on Harvey O'Banion. Uh, the, the, the Parkinson's guy. My patient with Parkinson's, yes. You're supposed to brief me post-surgery. What happened? Well, if I'm cutting him, then he's taken care of. Consider yourself briefed. Yeah, look, um, that's not good enough. The attendings need to be apprised when... You know, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna argue with you, okay? We need to keep each other informed. It's the way we do things here at the hospital. Until I become chief of staff. What the hell are you talking about? The fact that your father offered me the top spot when he gets his gold watch. Just send me the information on my patient. <clears throat> yeah, see? I handled that okay. You want to get some coffee? Yeah, sure. After you can talk to somebody without making them cry or want to kill you. What? Do you really think that that was the best way to tell Chris? How else am I going to tell him? I'm not going to write a dissertation every time I operate on one of his patients. Look. I'm not talking about that, Reed. The chief of staff job, Habab offered it to you. I thought Chris already knew about that. Well, he obviously didn't. Well, what, what does it matter if I tell him or Bob tells him or the tooth fairy fills him in? Look, Reed, there are feelings and there are family politics involved in this. You could stand to be a little bit more sensitive. Yeah, okay. How do I do that? Well, that's where I come in. Your shift over? Why do you ask? Are you coming with me? Where? My place. Why? Bring a stethoscope. What do you want me to do? All right, well, let's start with hospital etiquette. I will be playing the part of a nurse, and you just be your terrible self. All right? <clears throat> Dr. Oliver, I have a question about some of these orders. Can't you read? Do you have to be so insulting? If you have to be a nurse, do you have to be a stupid nurse? All right, we're trying this again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Dr. Oliver, I have a If it's on the chart, it's what I meant. Don't waste my time. Eh, wrong answer. Read. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, you just let's right. try this all again. All right. mm. <sighs> Dr. Oliver. I have a question about some of these orders. You know, you're kind of hot. <laughs> I know you're only a nurse, but uh, you want to play doctor. You're flirting with the nurse. Yeah, it's better than yelling at him, right? <laughs> All right, rule number one, don't yell at the nurse. And rule number two, don't flirt with the nurse. Because he might flirt back. All right, I am a hospital orderly. I walk up to you and I say, nice day today, isn't it, Dr. Oliver? Oh, what the hell kind of lead in? Yeah, yep, it's a nice freaking day. You know, I have about 50 more of these things that I can go through. I'm not Noah, you know? What? I'm never gonna be warm and fuzzy. I'm probably gonna always forget your birthday, work through Christmas. My idea of sentiment is not taking the last donut. Reed, I don't want you to be Noah. So, why don't we do this again, okay? I am a hospital orderly. You are the newly appointed chief of staff. I walk up to you. I say, it's a nice day today, isn't it, Dr. Oliver? Yeah, it is. It's a great day. That was easy. No, it's doable. No, it's a lot easier for you than with some of these other idiots. Well, if you can play nice with me, you can play nice with anyone. What if I only want to play nice with you? I don't want you to be Noah. 
but if this is going to be anything, I really need to know it. You want to work on that over dinner? Sure. After you pass your final. Okay, here's your chance. Oh, no, not this one again. She leaks the tears. No, no, no. Just go. go Nurse. Go. Her name's Gretchen. Gretchen, do you, uh, do you have a minute? Yes, Dr. Oliver. Yeah, I just wanted to say that it's turned out to be a nice day, hasn't it? Y yes, it did. Yeah. What did I do wrong now? Nothing. No, not as far as I know. You know, although, given your track record, it's highly possible you've committed some catastrophic blunder since I've been gone. Where are you going? Where's she going? She asked me a question, I answered. I was being civil! You know, you're very lucky I like you despite yourself. What does that mean? Let's see. 